What's up guys? Another beautiful day here in the backyard, Columbus. Today we are working on the boat. There she is over there. Got her backed into the shop. So we're going to pull the motor on this thing and get the flywheel uh, replaced on it so it matches up with uh, our new starter. Got a flywheel, got like 10 teeth that are ground off this thing. So, uh, get in here. So we're going to start with getting getting the out drive off and then we're going to get this thing pulled little Chevy 305 let's get to it Alright, well, engine's about ready to pull. We're going to use the trusses right here, put a, a lift on that, and we're going to hoist it out of here. See if this works. All right, and the engine's out again. There it is. Had a couple little issues with our chain getting stuck up there. It was a little sketchy at the top, but we've got the 305 out. We're gonna pull the bell housing apart, get that fixed. And when we were backing the, the truck up, one of the brake lines broke on the truck. I swear, if, shit, if, if stuff didn't break, then uh, we wouldn't have anything to do. Here's our current situation. We got this thing apart. Got the flywheel off of it. And we're debating if we want to tear the top end apart and do head gaskets. When we unwinterize this thing, um, and drain the oil, there's like a gallon of water that came out of, the, out of the oil pan. And we're not too sure. It ran great. We didn't have any issues like, you know, with it smoking or anything. But then again, it's out driving water. I don't know if boats smoke. I don't know. We did do a compression test and they were all in about 20% of each other. So, I mean, that was decent. Made about 120 PSI was the most, which I guess is all right for all clapped out 305. So, depending if we want to pull the heads off and then I'd like to put an intake manifold on it and get rid of this cast iron junk, put a four barrel carb on it. Um, yeah, but so our issue is with the flywheel we got this thing out, and this is our fault, but that's what had happened, and that is because apparently on these old Chevys, you have to shim the starter. Yeah, haha, -ha, joke's on me. I guess I didn't know that. Because you don't have to do that kind of, that kind of ghetto rigging on, you know, pristine Japanese engineering here. So, but on this old American junk here, we have to uh, shim the starter. So we did check the starter, starter's still good, Bendix is fine. Um, this is brand new, so that's a good thing. We're just gonna get a flywheel. That should fix most of our issues, but I'd like to, I'd like to tear the top end of this thing apart and get it, get it good here. Like we even got a 
Look at that, we even got a freeze plug that's starting to corrode. You know what, I bet that's how the water, look at that. I bet that's how the water got in this thing. Huh, yeah. That might be our issue right there. We might have to pull, put, a, put a freeze plug in this. That's not too bad. This thing needs a paint job. Desperately. Yep. It's pretty surprising that uh, all this weight's being held up by just two trusses. <laughs> it's solid. It's keeping the roof on. There's our out drive. So this thing will need a new gasket here, but we knew that was going to happen when they come off. But everything else on our out drive has been uh, replaced. So, oops, we're leaking. So we put a new gimbal in it, and then we put new exhaust bellows. And there's bellows in here. We put a new exhaust bellow on, the, um, this bellow in here, and the speed cable, speedometer bellow. Uh, and then we put new trim sensors on, so we gotta wire those up. I think, I think that's about it that we did on the back of this thing. So, need some carpet. We're gonna put another bilge pump in it, just uh, just for safety's sake and redundancy. So, let's keep moving. All right, so we're gonna pull this thing apart. We already got the ratchet off, it's only four bolts. We're gonna pull the front dressing apart. Then we got an engine stand on the way and we'll get the heads off and see how it is. All right, engines apart, got the heads off. This is about as far as we're gonna take it down. Uh, the cylinders look pretty good. 
The pistons are nice. This thing's been rebuilt. I don't know when. But there's a tag on it. Aaron's Automotive Products. This was rebuilt sometime, but the pistons actually look really nice. So we're gonna we're gonna keep this. Bright's over here working on the on the cylinder heads. On the oh, that was probably the one that had the most water in it. Custom. Yeah, we're just gonna clean that up and send it. It's a boat. All right, we're over here at our buddy Bright shop. Look at this thing, this thing's sick. Mike's over here cleaning up the cylinder head for the boat. A little parts washer. That shop's nice. Got the C-Class in here. All right, I feel like we got pretty far today. What do you think? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> so we got the long block here. All torn apart. Everything actually looks pretty good in this thing. So there was one freeze plug that was rusted away back here. So it didn't it didn't crack. It just got thin enough to um, to start leaking a little bit. So we're gonna replace that. But other than that, this thing's fine. We got our cylinder heads cleaned up. Took them to the right shop. They look a whole lot better. So obviously this thing's gonna get a fresh coat of paint. But be good to go. So gasket set in a couple days and then i think we're going to put an intake manifold on it because this is uh junk right here and then all of our parts we're going to put this thing back together we need it running all right and some parts have arrived what do we got here Ooh, pretty look at that nice That'll help. Nice. Look at that. That JEG special. That'll definitely help. Yeah. Be. Sweet. That'll work. Then we got a top end gasket set, thread sealer, Loctite. And there's our block again. There's the cylinder heads. And if you paid attention, you may just peek the color. Let's get to work. Put this thing together. About ready to go here. We got our cylinder heads cleaned up. We just took a paint stick and some sandpaper and kind of clean them up a bit. They were absolutely terrible, but this engine did run. See, this thing's got a bunch of bunch of wear marks. These, these cylinder heads are old, but it's a Chevy. And if anybody tells you that you can't use a paint stick and some sandpaper, they're wrong. They don't, they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. It's an old Chevy. It'll be just fine. It ran before. So we're going to put some... Um, uh, some gasket s some of that secret sauce on here this is what you want when your heads look like that so we're gonna get these coated and uh, and we're gonna get this the heads on this thing so we're getting ready to put the heads on we're gonna give these uh, gaskets a nice little coat of spray here so really we just want to give it a nice kind of even coat here it's flying around all over the place give these gaskets as much of a chance to seal as we can. I don't gotta go too crazy with it. We just wanna cover everything. And we don't need to do multiple coats. We just need to do one, one heavy coat. On both sides. And we're going to wait until this tacks up, not fully dries, and we don't want it wet. We just want it a little tacky, so it's like glue. Just kind of tacked up a bit. I'm going to gently set this on the block. Putting some thread sealing on the bolts. 
so it don't be leaking. Again, perfect American engineering. You ain't gotta do that on our uh, Honda game. <laughs> Just get a little bit on there. We're gonna do all the wrong things while building an engine and see what the comment section says. <laughs> Doing one thing right. I got a uh, spec sheet here for the torque sequence. You see that socket yet? It is currently the next morning here, and I realized last night that the GoPro had died after we had just got done painting it white. So without any further ado, <laughs> this is how it came out. Bang, look at that. Something a little different. So I still got uh, to repaint the oil pan and then the crank pulley, which I'm going to work on this morning. But I think, uh, I think the color is kind of neat. I think this thing's going to be really cool in the boat. I was able to find a ring gear for the flywheel. So this is the trash one. I was able to find a new one. So we're going to get that uh, pressed onto the flywheel there. So yeah, let's finish up the paint work on this thing. And then we're going to paint this, our framework. This sits around the engine, right? The engine sits right here. And then these are like lip nooks and the hydraulic pumps back over there and the batteries over there. So I want to get this painted. Uh, white as well and today's goal is to get uh, the rest of this engine put back together and get it ready to drop in so hopefully our, our goal and deadline is to be on the lake by Sunday and it is currently Wednesday so let's see what we can do
All right, well, we had to run to the parts store. We got our engine pretty much together, but our new intake manifold uh, is set up for a bigger carburetor, so we had to go get a uh, carburetor adapter. So we're going to put that on, and we're going to get the front of it dressed up. But it's looking, it's looking pretty good. And then we got new valve covers for it too. Mike's got them. So we're going to get to get to work dressing this thing up. Update, got this thing pretty much all together. We replaced both of the freeze plugs back here. There's still a third one in these things. We're just gonna leave them alone, but at least we got them two inch and five eighths ones done. Um, carburetors on, adapter, cherry valve covers. This thing's all tucked away now, but it looks, looks brand new. So we're gonna try to get the, I guess we're gonna do the ring gear on the flex plate, or on the flywheel. There's the old one, there's the new one. We're gonna get that pressed on and then install that and then get the bell housing on uh, after we get our starter uh, absolutely perfect this time. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right. Here we go. another test. <laughs> well, it runs. It's not sketchy. <laughs> I think that's confirmation. Probably 
Probably needs more gas. Alright, I want it to idle. Both. Here, here, I'll come over here and do okay. this. Yep. Alright, you ready? Yep. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hold it on, don't I? Well, until just till it starts and then let go of it. Okay. wants to walk itself off the grate. I know, try to get Good enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she runs. Hold on, one more. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs> Okay, I think this is going to conclude today's episode here of building the small block Chevy or rebuilding the top end of it anyway. So you hear, heard it fire up a bit and uh, I think it came out great. It looks pretty nice. I kind of, I, I dig the colors. It'll work. You know, you're never going to see this thing anyway. There's the sun deck back there behind the Civic goes, sits on top of that, which sits over the engine. So. You won't see any of it anyway, but let me know if you guys like the time lapses we do. I think they're neat. It's kind of cool. It shows the progress of what's going on, or if it's just boring and you'd rather hear me talk. I don't know. Let me know, but however, whatever I can do to uh, improve. So I don't really know what I'm doing. We're, we're making it work. <laughs> so I think that's it, guys. See you in the next one.